So um, what you want to do is ensure that you have the back end of the red lens uh, first. Why? It's because this sensor here um, is very sensitive to dust. You don't want to get dirt on there. So you don't want to leave this cap off for way too long, otherwise dust will get in there. So you basically want to be ready to get your lens on before you take the cap off. So we're going to loosen this again, take off our cap. Then remember the sensor is now exposed to dust, so this goes fast. You'll notice that at the bottom of this lens, you'll see these metal connectors. Those metal connectors actually read to the camera, so you'll see another set of them right there. We'll do this step really fast. And you wanna basically line those with that before you tighten your screw. So you'll know that they're connecting. Once those are aligned, you re-tighten this knob on the outside. And now you wanna make sure it's nice and snug because this is a very expensive lens. So you wanna make sure this thing's not loose. So don't be shy to tighten this really well. At least I do. I feel, I feel more comfortable knowing that it's nice and tight. So once again, this is what we're tightening, nice and tight. Maybe give it even a little wiggle, make sure it's not going anywhere. We're good. My little trick that might help you guys is that just to keep everything in one place, is that I put the back end of it back where the lens came from. And I also pull, put the little cap that's protecting the sensor in there as well. Because I know that when I'm, um, when I'm tearing down the camera, I'll be at that step so I'll know exactly where it is. And it's easy to lose these little things. So. So definitely keep track of them that way. Okay. okay, so now the next step is to get our matte box in front of the camera. Um, as you'll notice, the, um, we're going from box to box. So what might help you is to have all your boxes open on the floor in front of you. That we can just basically go from box to box. So now we're moving on to box C, like Charlie. Pop it open. In there, we find our matte box. This is it here. Um, be careful with this little donut. This attaches basically the matte box so it's nice and snug to the lens. Um, you have no light leaks coming in, plus it doesn't rotate or anything like that, so it keeps it nice and snug. So um, you'll notice here we have two 19 millimeter, 19 millimeter holes. And if you remember the 19 millimeter rods we put on a little bit earlier, though that's exactly where those are gonna go. So what you wanna do is take your lens cap off the camera. And you want to slide, I'll do it this way so you can get a better view. You want to slide your matte box onto the 19 millimeter rods. Simple as that. Okay. Once they're on, um, the back donut that I showed you earlier, that will go over the lens and you'll see it'll fit snugly right, um, right at the top of the lens and it'll just hold, um, it'll hold right in there. So to loosen that thing, to make it a little wider, this little knob here, you want to loosen, get it nice and loose, otherwise it might be a little difficult to do so. And now what we want to do is move our matte box so that it goes right over the lens. And can you zoom into that there? You'll see that I went from there to there. Nice and snug. You want to check the bottom is the same as well. Um, to do that, what you can do is just move the front of the matte box or loosen the bottom screws and slide it in. Um, once it's nice and snug around it, just basically play with it, be gentle, play with it, and you'll figure it out. It's not complicated. You want to tighten that up. That way it doesn't fall off on its own. So now it's nice and snug on there. Um, I was lucky here that it was already um, at the right height for the lens. Um, usually will be the case because this matte box always used with the same camera. However, in the events that you find that this donut is too low or too high in relation to the camera, basically there's a tiny little knob down here that loosens and tightens. And when you're playing with it, you'll see that this basically will allow you to lower the donut, the matte box, or raise the matte box so that it's just nice and horizontal with the lens. So they can, snuck, so they can slide your, your donut right into place. So you want to make sure that's tight. Once your matte box is tight, tighten up one knob on the left side. Once again, we never want to go too tight with these knobs. And tighten up a second knob on the right hand side. And there's your matte box, and it's ready to go. You can open it up. And um, for those who do not know what this, what this um, piece of equipment does, it serves two purposes. Um, purpose number one is to allow you to filter your lens. So here you have tiny little knobs, three knobs, and these allow you to pull out filter trays. And these filter trays basically 
hold a filter in place. So if you're using a neutral density filter, or a grad filter, a polarizer, any one of those filters, they would slip into this. I believe this is a four by five six, which it is. So those are the size, that's the size of filter you will need to fit this specific tray for this specific map box. And um, you slip your filter in here, make sure it locks in, and slide it back into the slot, and tighten it up. Second thing the map box allows you to do, control flares. And that is done by these flags. These are called um, French flags, I believe. Um, you have your top flag and your two side flags. And um, this allows you to protect the lens from light leaks, which might cause flares in your image. And that's the bonus of having the map box on. So now that we've attached our map box to the um, lens, um, we're gonna move on to attaching the external viewfinder, which you will find in box B, as well as the cradle that holds your hard drive and battery. It's all done basically, in a sense, in the same step. So once again, like I said, you wanna have all these boxes open in front of you because you're gonna to have to go back and forth from box to box. So we'll start with box B. We'll pull out our viewfinder, external viewfinder, the EVF, and that's what that is. And you'll also find this Akudo adapter that comes in two pieces, which attaches this to the camera. So you want to pull those out, put them aside. And now back to our accessories box. We want to get another two set of sets of rods. Now we're getting the gray um, shorter rods. And we're also going to need the cradle, which holds the um, battery on top and your hard drive. So what we want to do here is grab our two rods same scenario as what we did at the bottom, loosening our screws. We want to loosen these screws as well, these knobs, should I say, on both sides and slide our rods in. We can slide this one all the way in. Make sure that's nice and loose. And once again, tighten just a notch. And get this one partially in, not all the way. Why? Because we're also going to slip our adapter here that's going to hold our EVF onto the camera. This thing you want to make sure that it is placed this way, vertical, because this is where your EVF is gonna be positioned. Also, this is because I personally like to have the viewfinder on my left side. If you wanna like to have it on your right side, you can do the opposite on this side here. Same, same, same setup. Most, I find most cameras, most people usually have it on the left side. So once again, goes through there, through that hole, 19 millimeter rod hole, Let's bring it all the way in. Tighten your bottom knob here, which tightens this guy onto this. And tighten the knobs that are holding the rods to, to the camera. 